Hello guys, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I would like to show you how you can use WordWebs in your classrooms. Most of my uh, games or activities are geared towards primary school students because I teach primary school students. But uh, some of you ask me um, in the comments that you would like me to show you a few games or activities for higher level students, uh, specifically middle school or high school, and that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I will show you a wonderful warm-up activity uh, with WordWebs. Now, what are WordWebs? WordWebs uh, graphic organizers are an instructional tool to help um, students uh, organize information. So you start with something they already know and you expand the vocabulary that your students already know. Word webs are amazing if you want to expand your vocabulary and if you want to connect it to other different words. And sometimes when you take a look at your word web, you realize how much information you can elicit from a single word. And this is what I would like to show you today. It's one of the um, uh, techniques that we use when you learn new vocabulary. So as you know, when you learn new words, we use flashcards, we use drawings, we use word webs, we use dictionaries, we use concept associations, or for example, we um, use group associations when we associate the words by grammar and theme and so on. So this is one of the um, ways to uh, introduce new vocabulary and also make sure that it fixes into your long-term memory. It's all part um, of instructional scaffolding a concept uh, developed by Lev Vygotsky, um, who was known for his theories in psychological development in children. He was <clears throat> a Russian psychologist. And he is, I think, most famous for his zone of proximal development, uh, which we as educators study here at school. Or when I do teacher training, I talk about it at length. Um, instructional scaffolding is a process of uh, getting your students from a zero level, from beginner to expert or mastery through a series of supporting steps. But anyways, um, enough of this theory, enough of theory. Let me show you how you can play this warm-up game in your classes. So uh, this, uh, you can do it at the beginning of the class and you can uh, name it the word of the day. And today for demonstration purposes, let's start with something simple. I'm going to, I'm going to go with the word happy, happy. So let's see what we can elicit from the word happy. So first of all, I think we want to start with the meaning of this word, yes? What does this word mean? And here you can uh, yeah, write down what this word means. And you can elicit this from, you, from the students. What does happy mean? It means feeling, feeling pleasure or excitement, for example, yeah? All right, what else? Uh, translation, we would want to translate this word, translation. So, uh, well, I'm teaching in China, so I'm going to translate it into Chinese, and happy in Chinese is gao xing, and that's what I am going to write. Yes. Well, 
not very, <laughs> not very nice. Anyway, so this is the translation. Next one, um, we can say, yeah, pronunciation. Here we go. Pronunciation. Here, let's say it will be happy. There we go. This is pronunciation. Happy. Happy. Okay, what next? Next could be, could be uh, collocations, maybe. Collocations. Uh, a collocation is two or more words that go together. So um, it's something that sounds just right or natural to native speakers, but it may sound, but it may be a bit tricky for um, uh, L2 learners, for the second language learners. So for example, in this case, the collocation for the word happy would be very happy. Yeah, so we all often say very happy. Or we can say really happy. These two words always go together. Really happy. <coughs> or we can say truly happy. Truly happy. So these words go to, uh, very really and truly, they go together with happy. All right, now uh, two more things. Synonyms and antonyms. They help to build the vocabulary. So if I write a synonym here, so synonyms are words that have the same or the similar meaning. So again, you can elicit from your students what words have the same meaning as happy. And maybe you will get something from them, I don't know, excited, excited or delighted. It depends on your student's vocab vocabulary or maybe glad, yeah? These are all synonyms. Next one would be antonyms. So antonyms are words that have the opposite meaning. So in this case, what is the, uh, what is the antonym of happy? This would be sad or for example, um, unhappy, right? and so on. And also, I'm running out of <laughs> place to write, always use this word in a sentence. So uh, one more, one more, clout would be sentence. So use it in a sentence. And again, for demonstration purposes, let's make it a simple one. So let's say I am happy to see you. There we go. And yeah, take a look at what we've created. Just take a look at it. Let me, uh, okay, let me stand here. Look, we have one word, happy. And look how much information I have just retrieved from this word. Meaning, translation, pronunciation, sentences, collocations, synonyms, and antonyms. You can add even more stuff to this word, but uh, if you are able to use it as a warm-up exercise, just to show how much stuff you can get from one word, this will help uh, your students to build very powerful connections in their brain. And it's one of the ways to remember vocabulary better. Simple word, and that's how much stuff you can get from it. And also, even if they don't know these words, it's a good idea to give them two or three different words, uh, different synonyms to the word that you are teaching so they can remember them better. Because everybody's minds uh, works in different ways and you never know who, uh, maybe like, uh, maybe your students are going to remember the word delighted or glad better than the word happy, for example. So, here we go. 
I hope you liked this activity. I hope you understand the value of uh, WordWebs and maybe you can try and use it in your classes if you haven't uh, done it already. So give it a try and let me know how it goes. I hope you liked today's video. If you like what I see, please leave a like um, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.